Today we're going to look at the EZS Twist Plus 2, which is a model that we've had many requests to cover, both from patrons and viewers, as it's one of those strollers that simply looks really good on paper, clocking it at only 8.6 kilos and folding down to dimensions that, while definitely not acceptable as cabin luggage, come sort of close, provided that you remove the wheels, while also offering a full flat recline, a seat that swivels from parent to world facing, a one-handed fold, and those bigger wheels on the plus version that increase the model's utility over rougher ground, all for a price that's a bit below comparably sized reversible seat models. It's been right around three years since we covered the Twist on this channel, and in comparison with that original model, the Twist Plus 2 does definitely have a few advantages, with the biggest in my opinion being the size of the seat, where, though the baseboard remains pretty narrow and shallow, as it needs to be in order to facilitate the swiveling function, the length has been significantly improved to 97 centimeters, just when talking about the seat unit, as a result of having a longer backboard, as well as a decently long leg rest. In addition, there are also other positive updates when looking at this model versus the original that include swivel locks having been added to the front frame, a few more connection points on the chassis that are now held together with screws as opposed to rivets, making for easier disassembly if needed, and more importantly, the ability to tighten up the chassis a bit to combat loosening, somewhat more tightly fitted wheels, and an added bumper bar, all in addition to the oft-sided more superficial updates like extra pockets, leatherette detailing, and new colors. That being said, however, the Twist Plus 2 unfortunately still suffers from essentially the same underlying design flaw that the model has had since the original version, and that's that, mechanically, it's just way too complex for its size and weight, with too many hinges, long fragile trains of internal components, and necessarily thin bars in order to keep that weight down held together at too many points all of which make the model feel loose and fragile right out of the box, make it bend and strain sketchily while driving, and create a vast multitude of places where the components can fall out of alignment over time from loosening, causing stuff like folding the model or using the seat functions to become increasingly frustrating and creating a high chance of the model actually breaking in one place or another as a result of wear. And this newer version of the twist is actually even worse in some ways structurally than the original, with yet another hinge point added in order to facilitate the longer backboard, and also with those larger wheels on the plus version adding extra weight for the model's fragile chassis to deal with, while simultaneously allowing parents to use the stroller over rougher ground than they would with the smaller wheeled version where more jolts and jitters will only accelerate loosening. I would also argue, by the way, that the added mechanical complexity and the seat's necessarily smaller baseboard are not worth the swivel function, versus just having a seat frame that you detach to reverse, since you still need to take your kid out of the stroller and raise the seat back in leg rest before shifting the seat's orientation, a function that in my experience is not something that parents are usually doing constantly throughout the day anyway. And the end result then of all this in my opinion is that there simply isn't enough basic durability on the Twist Plus 2 for the model to be worth buying, even at the admittedly lower than average price of 450 bucks versus other premium brands anyway, where the two to 300 that you save by not going for something like the Boogie Boo B, Nuna Triv, or Jules Hub, or conversely, getting a similarly priced but larger and heavier model like the Baby Jogger City Sites, isn't gonna do much for you if the stroller becomes unusable after only a short period of time. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about the twist, I've linked our review of the original model in the description, which goes into a lot more detail. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.